गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन आज हम लोग पढ़ेंगे चैप्टर नंबर फोर एन आइडियल होम सो लेट स्टार्ट We all are responsible for keeping our neighborhood clean. An ideal neighborhood requires each and every members to look after his her house as well as the surroundings. Now, features of an ideal home. The size, location or the cost of building a house is not as important as maintaining the house and the neighborhood. A simple house can be converted into an ideal home if we take of the following. First, sunlight. It brightens our home and keeps the room dry. The sunlight keeps the germs away. There should be sufficient windows or verandas to get plenty of sunlight. So, do you know? Sunlight is a rich source of vitamin D. which strengthens our bones second ventilation windows and doors should face each other to allow free flow of fresh air they also ensure the outlet of dirty air from the home which is necessary for our health do you know an ideal home should have a chimney or an exhaust fan to let the smoke out This helps in keeping the house free from odor and pollution. Sir, third is sanitation. An ideal home must have proper drainage system to remove the dirty water. The drains should be covered and cleaned regularly to prevent the breeding of flies, mosquitoes, germs and cockroaches. a proper drainage system protect us from diseases like malaria tangu cholera etc the dust bin should have a lid and it must be cleaned every day do you know the drains from bathroom and kitchen should slope for an efficient system of cleaning fourth doors and windows A good house should have two doors a wooden door and a wire net door The window should have fly mesh to keep flies and mosquitoes away and allow fresh air Number 5 water supply an ideal home must have sufficient water supply for bathing washing clothes cleaning utensils wiping floors the scarcity of water can lead to unhygienic surrounding drinking water must be stored in clean and covered vessel storage tanks must be cleaned at regular interval number 6 safety the doors and windows should have bolts and locks the main doors must have a spy eye to ensure that door is not open to the strangers There should be a wall or fence all around the house to keep the animals and the strangers out. There should be a proper system of escape in case of a fire or other natural calamity. Do you know the doors and windows should have curtains? Curtains help the house to look nice and maintain privacy. they also help to keep the flies mosquitoes and dust out number 7 cleanliness so the house should be kept neat and clean the furniture and other things should be dusted every day floors should be wiped with disinfectant things should be kept in proper places it keeps the house neat tidy and saves a lot of time you can see the tidy house and the messy house so which one is best tidy house is best now the last point that is eight point garbage disposal a clean home and a neighborhood require an efficient system of garbage disposal so that heaps of the garbage do not harm the people or the environment the people must separate 
those items that can be reused or recycled to reduce the amount of garbage. The garbage should be disposed of from the surrounding of daily use. So we all are responsible for protecting the natural environment. We should keep fresh plants around our house. We should must plant trees in the colony. We should live in a harmony inside our homes and with our neighbors. So the cooperation, sharing and caring creates a friendly environment. So do you know a house may be big or small? It may be in a village or in a city. 